Good morning, everybody. Um, uh, I'm uh, Venerable Upeka, and uh, for those of you who don't know, I came about a week ago to uh, Oxford, and I've been staying with Venerable Chanda. We've uh, uh, well, we're now two nuns here, and uh, today Venerable Chanda asked me if I could. Uh, lead the guided meditation and she is sitting in the corner enjoying it <laughs> so it's very nice to be able to do this together and to be able to um, support one another and uh, support this whole community uh, yeah so just um, yeah, just a little bit when I, I tried to say to I came from um, Western Australia. I'm uh, I'm a Sri Lankan originally, but uh, I've been living in the monastery in Perth for uh, over thirteen years, and um, have, uh, uh, we ordained together in two thousand and fourteen when Will Chandra and I. So we've known each other for many years and probably many past lives as well, without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a, she's a, yeah, Kalyanamitta. Um, uh, yes, so I guess we'll uh, just, uh, when, um, Chanda suggested if you would like to just say how anyone is, to, you can do so in the chat box if you feel like it. If not, you can just sit quietly and, and uh, get yourself ready for an hour of loving of metta meditation. Okay, there. Lovely to see everyone. Christina. Mm. Okay, so everyone's in a very quiet mood. And, uh, uh -huh. oh, I'm from Thailand. That's nice. So uh, today's metta meditation. Um, okay, people are still checking in. Today's metta meditation is on um, uh, loving kindness for yourself. As I understand, every week, uh, Venerable Chanda has been going through for your various uh, people, yourself, others, loved ones, etc., and. Uh, so today we are uh, back to doing loving kindness for ourselves. So strangely enough, oh, strangely enough, uh, doing loving kindness for ourselves seems to be extremely difficult. <laughs> you would imagine that that would be the first thing that we did do, but... Um, for some reason, I think I'm not the only one who is my own worst enemy. Because <laughs> um, <clears throat> we demand so much of ourselves and we, we chase ourselves around, we boss ourselves around and get upset when we don't do what we want, we should be doing. <laughs> uh, and uh, the Ajahn Suchito and Wilchanda introduced me many years to Ajahn Suchito's book called The Inner Tyrant, Unseating the Inner Tyrant. So this has uh, been one of my favorite books of all time. I've shared it with many people. It's called Unseating the Inner Tyrant. You might resonate. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so having loving kindness for yourself is probably the most important thing because if you are if you are not good to yourself you know you're just another unhappy person in the world and that's you know that's it's uh, 
it's sad to see people who are, who are unhappy. So we look up, we, we are kind to ourselves, not only for our benefit, but for the benefit of everybody, all beings, especially the ones who you love and the ones who are around you because they are affected when someone in their life is, is um, not well. So having loving kindness towards yourself is paramount. And it is only after, not only after that, it is because of that we also learn to forgive and love others and accept others because we do it for the hardest person of all, for ourselves. So if we can do it for ourselves, we can do it for others. <laughs> There's a lot of giggling the room because <laughs> probably true. <laughs> so today's meditation is on uh, um, uh, loving kindness for ourselves. And we take this hour or what's left of it to genuinely give ourselves the opportunity to just be at, just allow ourselves to be, allow ourselves to be the, the vulnerable and sensitive people that we are. We allow our, our, our faces to be, our faces that we show the world, face that everything's okay. We allow, let that face go just for this time. And this is a time where you don't have to perform, don't have to be anybody. This is time in your day, today, for yourself. Leaving all your responsibilities and, and responsibilities for other people, leaving it outside. and giving time to yourself. So we'll just begin by just becoming aware of being here. being in this space what does it feel like what do you feel like so we tune in to the space around us, but also the space inside. We tune in to our own bodies. And our own minds. We become aware of what it means to be here, to be here right now.
becoming aware of your body. Because often your body reflects, well, always your body reflects your thoughts and emotions. So being aware of your body is being aware of all those, all those thoughts, but not getting caught up with them. When we're aware of our bodies, it is a little bit more tangible. So we notice how we feel. in our bodies. These sensitive bodies. And of course, your mind will float away, but we bring it back, bring it back to a sense of being here. Might be come aware of your breathing. You might become aware of just some part of your body that is prominent. But we are here right now in this body. And as our mind goes away again, we bring it back. We bring it back. And we say to ourselves, it's okay. We say to ourselves, May I be happy.
we allow ourselves to feel whatever it is that is going through our hearts. We allow everything to be. Dwelling in a sense of acceptance of whatever it is that we feel right now. Not getting lost. and caught up, but just accepting how we feel, how our bodies feel right now. And perhaps we we'll just go through parts of our body, parts of our body that we take for granted, parts of our body, all of our body probably, that we just expect to do our bidding. We never thank, we never realize how hard it works, always at our beck and call. So uh, we'll go through our bodies one part at a time and uh, all this time that we have never paid attention to it, we'll do, if you wish to follow, we'll do today. And just say thank you. And see how, how, how much our bodies do for us. So we'll start with our feet. And we notice how our feet feel right now. Our feet that take us wherever we go. Always there for us.
We notice our feet. We notice our toes. And we say, thank you. Thank you to our feet for all these years of hard work. I take time now to see how you're feeling. If you need anything, let me know. And then we move on to our legs, all our legs, maybe our knees, which might sometimes creak and yell in pain. We bring our attention to our whole leg and see how it's doing. Because again, it works all the time. Since the day we were born, And we've never sit, taken time to appreciate it. Dear legs, Hope you're okay. Thank you for everything you do. And let me know if you need anything. Then we move to our tummies, our dear old tummies that are constantly processing food for us. Making sure that we are nourished. making sure that we are alive and safe. And yet, we don't notice, we don't take time to appreciate our tummies. They say that there are brain, brain cells in your stomach, something like that, but whatever it is, as, uh, in, a lot of emotions seem to manifest in 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 uh, in uh, our our tummies, anxiety or you know nervousness or all these emotions or tension, but also positive ones. We wish it well. We wish it peace and ease. May it be healthy and happy and well looked after by me.
hope you are okay, Tammy, and let me know if you need anything. Then we bring our attention to our, the upper part of our body, our heart, our lungs, all those organs that work ceaselessly, making sure that we're alive, that we're breathing, that we have blood circulating to every corner of our bodies. And we say, may you be well. Thank you for working every single day of our lives. my life. I hope everything is well for you. Let me know if you need anything. And then our arms, all the way down to our fingertips, our fingers. Again, constantly at our beck and call. Always there for us. Never appreciated. We say to our hands. How are your hands? Are you well? Are you all right? Is there anything you need? Thank you. Thank you for always working for me. If you need anything, just let me know. Thank you for all that you do.
And we bring our attention all the way up to our heads. Our heads that are so busy. Our eyes, our eyes that keep us are constantly working, making sure that we don't fall over, that we see the right things, that we're safe. Our eyes that don't hurt. Say to our eyes, thank you. And our nose that keeps us alive. Breathing since the day we were born. Thank you, Nose. May you be well. May you be clear, unhindered, Thank you for keeping me alive. And our mouths. In our tongues, our lips. Became so taken for granted. He wished them well, good health, peace, ease. And our ears again so sensitive. Every part of our earlobe is um, an acu acu acupressure point, acupuncture point. So we wish it well. Thank you, ears. Thank you for all that you do. And now our whole body, our skin, our whole body,
we are with ourselves. Wishing our whole body well health and well being. And saying thank you. Thank you. Thank you for working for me. Please let me know if you need anything, because I'm there for you. We stay with that feeling of appreciation, of listening, of caring for ourselves. Of hearing ourselves. of being sensitive to our needs. Of being grateful for all that we have. mind wanders away, just bringing it back to that sense of listening to yourself, listening to your body, And knowing what's going on.
bringing your mind back when it wanders away. And ending this meditation by wishing that just as we are wish to be well, just as we find peace right now, may all be those who we know, those who we don't know, those who we see, those who we don't see. May all beings also find peace and ease in their lives. May the goodness of our lives spread unseen to the whole world, to every being. Just like us, may all beings find true happiness. In your mind with that feeling, that same feeling of well-being, wishing it for others who are just like us. May all beings find peace in themselves. May all beings find ease in themselves. Staying with that feeling. Allowing it to, allowing you yourself to rest in it.
bringing your mind back and it wanders away to that feeling of restfulness. for ourselves and others. Bringing your mind back Knowing your body, listening to your body, Now, just before coming out of the meditation, coming back to this room that you're in, coming back to this space that you're in, and just reflecting whether you feel more peaceful or not. And just reflecting what happened in the past hour or oh, 45 minutes. What helped? How did you get, if you are more peaceful, how did you get here? What helped? Just keeping, just reflecting on uh, the causes that bring peace and ease. When you're ready, you can slowly open your eyes. So thank you, everyone. I hope that was uh, 
beneficial and that you, well, for me, it's the morning. I don't know where you are, but that it is, carries you through the day and you have a, a, a meaningful and easeful day. If uh, anyone has any questions or anything to add, you can, uh, you can uh, type it in or thank you very much from Kels. Or you can just sit quietly for the next few minutes and enjoy the silence. Oh, Paul, thank you. I am very thirsty. Great. Yeah. So yeah, I I find like probably all of us are so busy and we um well. We uh, run around all day and come to the end of the day and collapse without realizing how much our bodies have worked for us and how much we have done. So it's good to take an hour of the day or, you know, whatever time you have just for yourself, just to be with yourself and uh, give yourself time. There. Bring your heart to listen to yourself, listen to your body, and see what you need because we forget ourselves. <laughs> yeah. So. No, no questions. No questions. <laughs> rush around. Yeah. We're trying to stop. We're trying to rush around. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Venerable Chanda is just here. No, they just said no questions. That is beautiful that you yes, we love attachment and having such a wonderful time. <laughs> oh, I'll take it. Uh, yeah. Question. Oh why we do not consider the body and should find the way I think I always forget my body. Why we do not consider the body as we do as we should. Hmm. I'm not sure. <laughs> Good question. We're, we're, we're bossy characters. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We're trained to we're trained to do the to be doers, to be, you know, productive members of society. So we've probably never really been taught to sit down and appreciate ourselves. So I guess we've never been taught. <laughs> There's a question here from Olivia. No, no, no I was just reflecting on that question, mm. which is a really... Mm. A and really, everyone here, Olivia. Yeah. It's a really interesting and thought-provoking mm. question. Mm. Why does that separation happen? Mm. No, I think I'm just wondering about it, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Mukund asks, uh, Venerable, would it be possible to do meditation all four Brahman Vyaras sometime? Yeah, gosh, that's packing it a lot in, in one hour. It's a bit much in one hour. <laughs> but certainly, yeah. over time, we get through a lot of different things. It's okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, really. And when you said it's okay, yeah, it's okay. 
yeah it's okay it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to to feel what we feel because we are going to feel things that we don't want to feel so important to feel okay mm. okay well then we'll tell me, did you have anything oh, to there harry has a question oh, oh okay but right thanks comments. i see i see that's one. Is Manoi going to unmute? Yeah, I've unmuted Terry. Um, with these feelings that you don't want, they can be overwhelming. So how? What do you? What do we do to accept them without being overwhelmed by them? Well, I, I usually find it's good to have a bit of space for yourself, finding a safe space that you don't feel you you feel you can, you know, fall apart, you could say, um, away from the world. Uh, um, for having a safe space to allow these emotions to arise. Um, um, maybe, you know, I don't know if you live with the family, but I find give find giving yourself a safe space uh, physically and um, allows you to let things arise. That takes you know yeah yeah, yeah. okay Feel, feeling uh, feeling safe yeah thank you. <laughs> Christina from Perth. Yeah, who well, I nearly blessed a month okay. ahead. Please go ahead. Christine. Hello, venerable. Both of you, venerable and venerable. I'm oh, from wow. Perth. Too. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, the big feelings. I, I think that's like a really significant question. It's something I grapple with too. And our feelings can be really quite frightening when we give them space to arrive arise but something that I've been trying to do around that for myself is work on actually this the meta meditation like really building up self um loving kindness to the cell and then using that to meet the big emotions somehow so I greet the emotions with an attitude of loving kindness so in my practice I've been trying to strengthen my my loving kindness to self in parallel with take taking a step of courage I suppose and being a bit more open and vulnerable but uh, just yeah Terry like I think that's it's a big big issue um but building some muscles, you know, metaphorical muscle around holding it in ourselves, I think. I find that really helpful anyway. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. It takes time to build those muscles too. Um, mm. How do I remember this community is always here? So many distractions that I forget you lovely people are here, still here, still when we move away from this space. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Did anyone have any uh, comments or questions or how? How do you remember? <laughs> Can I say? So? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, one of the things I sometimes do, and I think is very helpful, is actually to use the power of memory and mm. to evoke this precise feeling that you have right now and build up a scene in the mind. So, mm. of course, you have to first remember that you forgot. Mm. And that's why an aspect of mindfulness is memory. We have to remember that we've forgotten to connect or we've forgotten to be mindful and then and remember that feeling of safety and the feeling that there yeah, there's a good community out there there are many many people who care I'm not alone in this 
And then to actually sit down to meditate, you might want to recreate that mm. sense of feeling held within community, you know, bring up the faces of people or um, the situation you were in when you last felt that and build it up around you mm. um, and actually start the meditation that way. Mm. You know, maybe with a feeling of gratitude as well towards uh, your teachers, towards any good friends or anyone who gives you that feeling of safety and belonging. Mm and uh and just make it in your mind because there's been scientific research to show that there's a very small gap between memory and uh, and reality or imagination mm. fantasy and reality mm. um it actually gives the nervous system the same impression as mm-hmm. if you were really there there's hardly mm. anything in it mm. so we can do that from time to time mm. but yeah the youtube i'm not it's not just a joke i mean mm. you know that can really help and and for me just now it was a uh, I really wanted to thank you. That's why I came mm. up, not to speak, mm. but just to thank Venerable Pekka because it's very rare that I get the treat of listening to mm. a guided meditation and someone else mm. does all the work for me and mm. leads it so kindly and so sensitively. I just find it very healing and absolutely mm. what my body mm. needed. So mm. my body spoke to me about so many different things and maybe I should say it publicly mm. that I'm going to make a decision. I heard my kidneys, which are really adrenal mm. fatigue affects them mm. and I am um, kind of resolved to mm. feed them water instead of tea so <laughs> I don't know if I'll go completely teetotal <laughs> or tea zero <laughs> <laughs> at the moment it's teetotal as in I totally drink tea <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah. yeah, the the guided meditation can be really, really nice. Yeah, yeah lots of things on YouTube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so this will be, re- this is recorded, isn't it? Because mm-hmm. I'm already planning to listen again. Mm-hmm. It used to help with the feeling of fear as well. Feeling of fear as well. Yeah, yeah, true. Fear is a very common emotion when, and our bodies actually uh, reflect the fear. So being a, uh, Listening to our bodies is actually uh, kind of tuning into that fear quite directly. So, and then if we can bring ease to our body, not without wanting it, but allowing it to be, allowing things to be, then that, that gets you out of your head and uh, something more tangible that you that you can just be with. Again, not wanting the fear to go away because that makes it worse, but. Mm something more tangible to just care for and accept and allow to be so yeah 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 i guess you're out of the story doesn't it yeah it gets you, you out of the, the story it's more it gets you out of the, the story experience yeah not the story yeah. that's fueling yeah 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 yeah. The fear. yeah and metta yeah. is used in the sutras firstly to have come fear you know that story about um the monks that were practicing in the mm. forest, the Buddha kind of That's warned them true. not to do it. That's true. But they were That's like, no, true. no, we're fine. We go to practice all night in the forest. Mm. And then all these spirits yeah. came out and scared the yeah. living daylights out of them. Yeah. And they yeah. went running back to the Buddha. Ah! <laughs> That's true. And he said, practice yeah. loving kindness, then go back. Mm. They didn't have enough loving kindness. So the spirits mm. almost came. And I think sometimes they come because they're like, come on, practice properly. But sometimes mm. they maybe want your loving kindness, and, mm. and uh, if you don't have any, then you're not too mm. pleased. <laughs> so, yeah, loving mm. kindness. A fear is a part of aversion. It's a part of the mm. like yeah. wanting things to be. Yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, the very... body is a, a great uh, grounder, and um, away from the myriad of stories that we build. And take to be so real. Yeah. Yeah, because you're worried about something that's not even happened most of the time. Yeah. And when you actually, if you have the you know, loving kindness quite present for you and you know, as a as a practice, when you do meet any fearful situation, it's not going to be as bad as you think. Mm. But if you have a mind of fear even before it happens, then mm. when you meet it, you won't have much resilience. <laughs> yeah. Seven past ten. They're asking yeah. how how long you're going to be in the U. Look, you're Van U now already oh. in the community. Yeah. I call her Van U all the time. I've got lots of nicknames. <laughs> Red, oops. She's going to be here until June. 
which is yeah, wonderful. Yeah, so, I think, yeah, yeah definitely. Mm. Well, I will invite you mm. to do more mm -hmm. guided mm. meditation. So maybe mm. take a sutta class. Just to say it is beyond uh, 10, mm. and I know that, you know, this. Uh, many of you have other things to do. Mm. There was one more person with their hand up, though, which uh, I don't want to ignore you, but I just wanted to give other people permission to to mm. move on yeah. if they wish, but maybe yeah. we could add the links yeah. from uh, Minori could do something okay. it's good to do that before time okay so there you go. go so did someone have their hand Ter up Ter Terry kind of ah, okay all right <laughs> it was an actual hand it was a hand I but see. not a, I see. not so, a not yes. a not a, 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 a okay. internet hand I <laughs> so yeah so there's some details about how you can be involved with those in the box uh, one of the things I haven't been very on the case with is listing all the upcoming events, but they are on our website. I'm giving a talk in Kettering in a couple of days. Uh, so I'm going to drink lots of water and try and take some rest before that. Uh, we're also going to be giving a talk in Oxford on Monday evening. Guided meditation and then the mm -hmm. event is... She just has to do what I saw. <laughs> no, it's on the it's on the calendar. Yeah, we just give a little. Uh, it's it's just a little meditation group. We have half an hour meditation, mm -hmm. half an hour like Dhamma reflection mm -hmm. and some Q and A. Mm -hmm. You know, it's on Monday evening. Mm -hmm. Friends meeting house, mm -hmm. uh, and we're here. You know, oh, there mm -hmm. we go. Look, magic. Oh. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Ajahn Brahmali's talks. There's tons and tons of talks mm -hmm. and tons and tons of places. So please mm -hmm. register. Mm -hmm. We want to see you there. Mm -hmm. I know some of you in India and Australia, and, you know, <laughs> but still, it'd be nice if you <laughs> to know you're invited. Mm. You know you're invited. Mm. <laughs> okay. okay. So yeah. So thank okay. you to Benjamin and Pekka. Thank you. Thank and, you to uh, everybody. Thank you to the yeah. whole community. Yeah, mm. and we'll see some of you soon. Mm.